Let's talk front wings. We have expanded our range to cover a multitude of disciplines, conditions, and rider weights. No matter the foil category, we've got you covered. I believe we now lead the industry for quality and efficiency. We have found that magic balance between high performance and ease of use. We have several different sonar front wings. The Reflex series, incredible stability, reflex trailing edge design, low stall speed, good for starting out, winging, or perfect for boat foiling. The Sonar Swept wings, which are low profile, swept design, low stall speeds for the size, and the 850 is perfect for kite foiling. The MA wings, fun and fast. Early lift with amazing top end speed. Great crossover for different sports, mostly for winging and kite foiling. The all new HA wings, engineered for the highest speed and efficiency possible across a range of disciplines. Our entire range of front wings have been vastly improved due to the performance upgrade of the S-Series stabilizer, helping to create that perfect combo. It's really important to remember the wings are purchased separately from the Sonar Foil Edition. They're completely modular. All the wings fit on all the fuselages. We have a bulletproof carbon pre-preg construction and a stunning finish. Uli, obviously you specialize in composites and carbons. Can you tell us a little bit, what is the difference between pre-preg and traditional carbon? Okay, so traditionally you have your dry fiber and you need a, res a matrix to wet out the dry fiber. And that gives you your laminate, which you then cure. To do so, you got to mix up uh, the matrix, which is a resin and a hardener. You got to get that ratio spot on, otherwise it does not cure properly. And when you wet out the dry fiber, you got to make sure that you wet it out equally, that you don't have a mismatch of um, the ratio between the fiber and the resin, because otherwise you get inconsistency in the product. You end up with neither too light or too heavy products or have structural failures if they have too much dry fiber in them. So with carbon pre-prec, this is all industrialized. The ratio between resin and, and hardener is mixed up in the factory. There's no human error involved in that. And then it gets wetted out. And this, what you can see here is pre prec carbon. So it has a, has a film at the top and in the bottom and the resin is already spread across the fiber evenly. What that does for us is it rules out, as I said before, the, um, the errors in, in the process. And it guarantees us that we achieve the same weight for the product the same quality all over again for every single wing. So Oli, tell us a little bit more about some of the other features, benefits, construction, the way we make the foils, that sort of thing. Yeah, we are very passionate about the finish on our products, especially on the foils. As you can imagine, it has an, a great impact on the performance of a, of a front wing. Um, so we try to bury the graphics in clear coat so that's all smooth. Um, we really pay attention to the trailing edge, um, that the thickness over the span is always constant. All that will have an influence of how a foil rides. And I know we spend a huge amount of time on QC, quality control, making sure that it's really consistent so that we reduce the vibrations, reduce the noise and the humming that some, some of our competitors have. So, um, how else have we made it a little bit easier for people to use the, the wings? Um, you will notice that on the underside of our wings, we will have graphics showing you which screw size to use. So they match up with the graphics we have on our screws. So in this case here on an MA1200, uh, it goes on a 30 millimeter screw in there and it's an MA by 30. So if you match that up, it's very intuitive, easy to assemble. Nice. And basically, I, I always get confused with the screw sizes. Sometimes well, we rock up and I'm not sure. You know, it, it comes from us. We're adding more and more wings to our quiver because as, as we exploring different disciplines and also riding a different condition in advance with our foiling journey, hence suddenly you get a little bit overwhelmed with what screws to use for which front wing. We try to make it easy and place the, the information for you on each front wing directly. Oli, also, can you tell us, there's quite a few measurements on the side of the wing. Can you explain those to us? Yeah, so what you will find here on the wing tip is the projected area. So that's if you would see the wing from the top and the light shines off it. Basically, 
that shadow that it throws on the bottom is the projected area. Where the actual area is the actual area of the wing. So that includes the curvature of the wing. So that's a slightly bigger than the projected area. It's like a 3D, 3D shape. It's a 3D, 3D shape. So obviously, because it has curve, it takes the curvature into account, it's slightly bigger than the projected area. Nice, and that's in centimeters and inches? That we provide this information in, in metric and... Uh, Imperial. Imperial. And the last measurement, what's the last one? We then have the wingspan. Wingspan definitely is tip to tip. We understand it can be challenging to choose a front wing. So we've put all of this information in our charts on our website with some easy guides to help you choose the best wing for your sport, your rider weight and your conditions. Thank you.